Hello everyone, this is Miss Julia here at the Collierville Birch Library here to show you how to make the fall mason jars. So hopefully you've already come to the library to pick up your kit. In it you should have a glass jar, a bunch of fake leaves, some raffia, which is sort of this um, straw thread, and a fake candle. Now something you're going to have to provide is glue and a paintbrush, um, possibly water as well. Uh, but I'll get to that in a second. So, first thing you probably want to do is to actually soak your leaves because when you first get them, they're going to be very, very stiff, which means it's going to be very hard for them to lay flat on your um, your jar. So you want to soak them for a couple of hours to a day just so that they are nice and loose and the fibers are softer so that they'll actually be more um, malleable. So soak your leaves first, I would suggest, and when you take them out, you can crumple them up a bit to kind of um, soften them up further. But once you have that done, you're going to take your glue. Now I'm using tacky glue, and I put a little bit of water in it just so I can have an easier time spreading it onto my glass jar. Um, if you're using white glue or Mod Podge, I think those are watery enough that you don't have to water it down. But if you're using white glue or Mod Podge, your steps are going to be a little bit different. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue, whatever your glue that you're using, and you're going to kind of paint on a little bit onto the jar wherever you want your leaves to be. And you might have to go on top of your leaves too if you're going to be overlapping. And then you're going to place a leaf down however you like and put more glue on top. Now it's possible that some bits of the leaf aren't going to stay down all together. That is fine. You can see like I have some raised up a little bit on the edges. If you want it completely flat, you might have to do a couple of layers of glue. So that's all you have to do again and again with the tacky glue slightly watered down. Now if you're using the white glue or the Mod Podge, you're going to put a layer down and then you're going to let it dry um, for a little bit until it's tacky to the touch and then put your, your leaf down. Um, the tackiness just helps the leaf stay down rather than move around. Um, now since I'm using tacky glue, it's obviously already tacky so I don't have to wait for the, that to dry. Um, I can just go ahead and paint and put on. Uh, you might also have to do this in steps or like in sections. So maybe I'll get like a quarter of this done and then I might have to wait to let it dry before continuing on. Um, just so I don't end up sticking the bottle to the table or just, just because it's a little bit easier to work with then. But you'll continue this process all the way around and then let it dry. Now I'm not sure if the camera see or shows this, but there's actually sort of like a gluey film in between um, where my white spaces are. Now if you've covered the entire thing in leaves, you don't really have to worry about that, but I kind of like the white space in between and allow the light to show better. Um, but if you don't like that filmy look to it, you can actually take some rubbing alcohol and start taking away the glue like I did right here. Now of course that's going to take a little bit uh, of time and effort because you have like all these little spaces um, to clear out. Otherwise if you don't mind that filmy look, uh, you can just leave it because it's going to be on the entire bottle in the end. You can also fill it in with like glitter or something if you want to cover up those little spaces. But anyway, once you have all your leaves on, let's see if I can show you this a little bit better. Maybe not. I'll raise you up just a little bit. Yep, there we go. So now you can see the top. So after you have all your leaves on and it's all dried and everything, you can take your raffia and you can wrap it around the top of your jar. This is just for extra decoration. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And you can wrap it around however you'd like. I just kind of found the middle and just started wrapping it around. Like so. Kind of crisscrossing it as I go along. And then when you get towards like the end, you can tie it in a knot or a bow, whatever suits your fancy of how it looks. So I'm just going to do a little knot. So there you go. And maybe you have some extra leaves, you can like 
the little decoration or maybe you have like fake flowers at home or something you can decorate the top however you'd like make sure that stays down and once you have all that done you can turn on your lovely little candle and plop it in and you have your fall luminary so you can see it's kind of glowing through obviously this will look a little bit better once it's actually dry you don't have all the sweat glue and when it's dark but it's a cute little fall craft to decorate your home with and i hope you have a lot of fun doing it other than that i hope you all stay safe stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your day bye